if you are currently sitting around with your penis fold up not being used, I want you to say hell yeah. <laughs> That's not politically correct nowadays. Let me tell you something, sir. When your penis How if, dare your, you. if your penis is not directly called upon to be used <laughs> by somebody, something, somewhere, then it is politically incorrect <laughs> for your penis not to be folded up. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> some way. Folded up in the unused position. <laughs> What is folded up in the unused position? I would I would consider that limp. First thing, <laughs> think about think about how think about how rubber looks before you pull it out the package. Folded up in the unused position. Uh, God I damn mean, it! Really, it's supposed to be like you couldn't make it thirty seconds into the fucking show without talking about dicks. I guess not. <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are brought to you by not Trojan condoms, but. Sometimes. <laughs> Have you listened to the ads? Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> we are not we are not brought to you by dick jokes either, but this is the hype podcast. I'm the host of no name. My name is also fresh. I want you to listen to my pole position like this is Atari 2600. This video console that makes you want to roll. You know that I patched the hole in your soul. This is what you've been missing. Nobody's old fuck enough no, to know this fuck stuff. No, we're not stopping or taking intermissions. It's freestyle, bitches. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freestyle that he made up and wrote down eight times when he rhymes, okay? Let him go. I don't understand that. Nobody knows. It's okay. Gets the people going. Get them also fresh. You know what the people have been going about this weekend? What? What have they been going about? So we, we got his name wrong. Who? Takeoff from the Migos. They, they, they Take laid off from the Migos. The group Migos. What was his real name? I don't know. Was it like Johnson? It was probably Hoodie Hood Hood. It was, it was, like, it was probably Bernard. His name was probably Jamal or <laughs> jo- Jaquindigo. I mean, motherfuckers. Hey, there should be a limit when they allow you to sign up for school. There's too many vowels in that motherfucker's <laughs> name. What I really want to know is, did they? Hey, I think did they? A twenty year hiatus on anything named with Isha. What I really want to know. Is did they use that name at his funeral? At his you like in the obituary? Is it, it like it, it, my man take off? The sign on the arena said memorial for takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. Hey, if you happen to be listening or watching on Patreon, I don't know when you'll get this video, but you got it. Did you pay for it, motherfuckers? And hey, thank you to everybody that upgraded. I mean, you still ain't shit, but I want to thank you for being a fan of the Hype Podcast. How do they get in touch, my friend? 503-776-0167. You can check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the Hype Podcast. We have our own subreddit. It's a r slash the Hype Podcast. If you want to hit us up on Reddit. I've I've never seen it. Yeah, well, it's because you don't know how to Reddit. I do Reddit. You don't Reddit. I got got a lot of Reddit karma. How many you got? How many you got? A lot. Yeah, he doesn't even know how many Reddit karma he has. He's a fucking lying bastard. Lying bastard. You don't Reddit. Everybody who Reddits knows how much goddamn karma they got. I'm sorry. I'm over there using TikTok. (laughs) TikTok with takeoff. No? No? Okay. Too soon? But it's getting me about this uh, uh, this takeoff thing. Okay. Because now it proves I'm older. Because in the time that I was not listening to him, he was a, a legend. Like, I, I, I'm watching guys on YouTube, they're like... What do you mean a legend? To I mean, if you're a guy that's younger than I, or okay. younger than you, younger okay. than you too, he is a legend. Because think of how many rappers that you knew coming up that did not... I mean, because he probably had a 12, 14-year run. Wait, I mean, okay. there, were rappers, there were rappers Wait. I knew that weren't even cool for a year. Wait a minute. Now, are you calling him a legend, or are people calling him a legend? People were calling him a legend, but if you look at it statistically, in comparison to people I consider legends, he had a way better run. I've never even heard of one of their songs. You've never heard Bad and Bougie? you never heard no. Versace? No. No. I never, not a once. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even, like, you say Bad and Bougie, and it doesn't even resonate with me. You say Versace, and I think clothes. I think Biggie, well, well, like in the 90s. That's what I think. I would tell you the song Bad and Bougie does not resonate with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the name. Like, like for example, if you were to rattle off like a couple Biggie jams, it, you know, if I, was, and I would be like, oh, I haven't heard that, but I know the name. You if know I was I mean? sitting there in front of my hard drive, I could probably name off a shit. Oh, uh, I mean, didn't they do Ric Flair drip? Yeah, they, they did. I mean, there's a, there's a Ric bunch. Ric Flair drip. I mean, that sounds familiar because Ric Flair is the shit. And he's like 400 years old. Oh, he, he, was, he was in the music video. It was fucking dope. Well, he has an exuberant noise that no, no, Rick, associates Rick, you with Rick, his Rick name. Rick Flair is really fucking broke. <laughs> is 
He spent all the money on hair products. <laughs> no, he's he, I, you know if you he spent it on women, liquor, and cocaine. He will tell you. Plus, those, <laughs> if you if you look That's at Rick, a hell of a weekend, if, if you look at Ric Flair, some of those robes he would wear would cost four or five thousand dollars. Like he paid for any of those. Get the he fuck paid out of for here. them. Get out of here. He paid, that's why he's broke now. <laughs> You're like, like he paid for them. If I'm telling you somebody's broke, obviously he was paying for something. Really? The St. Lunatics are broke too. And they had to fucking pay for zero I, I, I amounts of Air Force I Ones. I don't even know who the St. Lunatics are. Oh, see, now you're full of shit. And, 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 you don't know who the St. Lunatics are? At least are? in comparison to the Migos, I know the Migos <laughs> did something in comparison to the St. Lunatics. The St. Lunatics reused the theme for the Jeffersons once to what make you, a fucking song. What do you mean? The St. Lunatics paved the way for going broke rappers. Every single one of them are broke except for Nelly. They didn't make any money. That's what I'm saying. No, they, they paved they, the way. No, they didn't make any <laughs> I, I don't hey, Mur- I, I, Murphy I, I, Lee had, I, I, Mur- Murphy Lee spent over two million dollars on putting out his own solo album and only made like a hundred grand back. He didn't spend two million dollars. Well, yeah, somebody did. Yeah. Because <laughs> let me tell you something about the record industry. You might not know when your favorite artist flops, he spent somebody else's money to flop. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> you know. You know. What I, I I've been dealing with disappointment this week. I mean. Sounds uh, like you had a rough weekend. It's, you know, there's, there's, there's certain things that are very, very important to me. One of them is takeoff. We get it. No. <laughs> when she takes <laughs> off, <laughs> I would like to know if you know how to ride stick, girlfriend. Please hit me up on Patreon so I can go boop. Anyway, you got to get one Jesus boop in there. Christ. Boop. And I heard you didn't even say it right. <laughs> what do you mean I don't say you, it right? You don't say it right. You don't say it like oh, so. What I do, dude? I do, I do the boop two point oh. Boop. Yeah, y'all do the real. Y'all do the real boop. Boop. You can see it on the screen. You see where you see where I say boop. So I, 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 I me, my, when we started off at a real fucking down point. You mean because, yesterday? Because one of my favorite things. No, a couple of days ago. It's Tuesday. Right. Tuesday. The week starts on Sunday. I don't know if What do you, you mean the week starts on Sunday? I don't know Sunday. if you know about the Mayan calendar and how that fucking works. Oh, now like, you're a fucking historian all of a sudden? I, I, this motherfucker doesn't even know how to read a calendar. He's like, well, the Mayan calendar. Yeah. You know? You know? You know? I was telling the story. <laughs> I was telling now the story. Now you know how it I, feels. I, I, I was, now I, you know how it feels, I, I, motherfucker. At least it's an interesting story. <laughs> At least I remember all the fucking details. Yeah, back to, uh, back to you in the back studio, to, Osa. Back, back to me. Back to me. And if you're watching on Patreon, you'll see in my face that I am looking at you on the camera, and that's the look you get. Let me give you a wink. Oh, wink. Oh, shit. Boop. Anyway, <laughs> my week started off bad because, you know, <clears throat> Sunday is my chill day. I really like to prepare myself for the week and do a shitload of nothing and really just vibe out. Okay. And I discovered something amazing last week. I didn't know this, and you should have told me. You should have commented on the podcast and told me that the salt and pe- the salt and vinegar wings at fucking Winco are the shit to die for, and it's seven dollars for a fucking pound of them. I just want to give applause to Winco. When are salt and vinegar wings not the business? Have you ever had? Have you ever known them to not be delicious? I'm not a big salt and vinegar wing guy. I I, I fuck with the chips. Okay. I mean, I okay. I am not I'm not a pedestrian when it comes to the goddamn <laughs> chips. But when it came to putting those on fucking wings, I'm I'm real particular. I cook wings. He I said, cook he wings. Said, I'm a motherfucking salt and vinegar chips veteran, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Go out my dig through my trash. Find a bag or two. <laughs> If you, find this, if you find an empty bag of salt and vinegar chips at the crime scene, you know who the fuck did this shit. You'll find a bag of salt and vinegar <laughs> chips and a condom that smells like your mother. <laughs> there we go. So Jesus I, I, Christ. I walk up in fucking Winco. I don't know what the fuck the deal is. This is Sunday afternoon. Sunday. You, you know what Sunday is in America? It's football day. It is officially fucking football day. And you know what people eat when they eat fucking watch football? Wings. Wings. Wings galore. Yeah. Just just chicken. Just I mean, there's there's chickens on Saturday that are very scared that Sunday's about to fucking happen. It is a real fucking problem. I mean, because you know what? They need so many wings for fucking Sunday. There's probably chickens running around the farm with no wings. They couldn't fly anyway, but they're running around with no wings. We don't have time to ch- cut the rest of you up. We just are going to take the fucking wings because it is Sunday and there is football on television. So I go up to the counter. I wink up because I think, you know, I'm going to get a 
few things that are not good for me. You know, some soda, some fucking whatever. There is nothing. I don't, the vegetable section, I think they shut that down when I walk in because I don't <laughs> see that motherfucker. <laughs> so I walk back there to the deli and I'm like, all right, let's make it happen. These motherfuckers don't got the chicken ready. I think somebody didn't wake up on time to get to work to start cooking chicken. Cause it, the, what do you mean? The, the, it's Sunday. They, the, they were just probably out of wings. The display case was clean. That's what I'm saying. They're out of wings. Have you ever seen? See, I worked in the deli. Okay. So I know how to look at a deli case. That deli case had not been fucking used. Because everybody's smart he said and buys their wings on Saturday. He said, why would you buy hot wings? They're hot wings. They are, they're prepared for you there. So they don't run out. They are prepared for you there. And? They are hot when you buy them. So how are you going to buy them on Saturday? Reheat them. So you get salmonella? Just leave them outside? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You just said they were cooked. You don't get salmonella from cooked chicken. If you leave it what out. What fucking planet if, are you if on? If you fucking leave it out. No, you buy them, you put them in the fridge, and then you I, warm them up in the, I, oven the next why, day. Why, I pay for them to be fucking hot. <laughs> no, you didn't pay for shit because they didn't have you, any. You pay for the wings when you go someplace. You don't go. You don't go to a restaurant and be like, "Oh, oh I'll just take it hot or cold. It don't fucking matter." I just go take it home and put it in the refrigerator. Sure, you do. That we just went to Sakura Japan the other day, and they brought us out raw food and, and then, cooked it for us. And cooked I it paid for that us. motherfucker to cook it for if us. If you were to say hypothetically, if you were to say, "Hey, just give me that in a to-go box. I'll cook it later," they're not gonna not take your money. They're gonna fucking give you the shit. They're they gonna, gonna give you what so you ask for. Time, next time we go to the fucking Japanese place. I'm going to say, you know what? Just throw all that raw shit in, in, in a fucking container. I don't care if it contaminates each other or whatever. I just want all that fucking raw shit. So I'm up there, and this little motherfucker, and I, I couldn't tell what team he was on. I mean, you know. I, he was on I, the Winko I, team. I, I, I'm not talking about. Employee on, motherfucker. And, 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 and see, it's bitches like you that were like, you should call up there. It's employee owned. When's the last time an owner fucking picked up the phone? If I, you work someplace employee owned, you all be like, nah, that's your job. Nah, that's your job. Dude, if I was. I, I'm the fucking owner. Why would I have to pick up a goddamn phone? If I was, if I was at an employee owned store, I'd be making more than win, minimum wage, motherfucker. What do you mean? They're like, you're part owner. I'm like, I'm part broke. So let's, I'm, let's get some I'm, owner wages. I just, I just want to know, Winco, I know you guys watch the show. Oh, you, you can't owner. afford to do nothing else. You play owners watch the show. I just want to know: is there something? Are you? Did you not? Is there a checklist you're not going through? That because uh, on Sunday you need fucking wings. Go to Buffalo fucking Wild Wings. There's somebody at five o'clock in the morning fucking cooking wings, <laughs> getting everything fucking ready. I mean, half the display case didn't have shit in it. I'm sitting there like you know, and I like I said, I didn't know what team this guy was on. Okay. I was like, you know, because. Are you certain it was a guy? Wasn't certain about that. Oh, he kind of like, he, he had, had that Pauly Shore Metro thing. <laughs> if you're old enough to remember Pauly Shore, hit me up on the high line. 503-776-0167 or drop us a line on Facebook if you know who Pauly Shore is because that motherfucker, not only is he hilarious, but if you look at him when he was a bit younger, him and uh, what's, what's her name from fucking Roseanne, him and Jackie, they look kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. I think he looks like Darlene. Yeah, <laughs> that's who. That's who I was thinking yeah, yeah, of. Yeah, fucking yeah, Darlene. Yeah. <laughs> and if you watch Roseanne, hey, I don't watch the Connors. I just want you to know. <laughs> Bring the racist bitch fucking back. Anyway, hey, hey would you? Uh, would you? Would you put one in Roseanne? She has her days. <laughs> I fucking knew you were gonna say that. She has her days. <laughs> <laughs> a broken clock at least is right at least twice a day. <laughs> and, uh, I think that's why he's been at least a couple times in her lifetime, <laughs> depending on my persuasion. Missy Elliott or Queen Latifah? Since we're on the topic, uh, I go Queen Latifah. Jesus Christ. That's more of an uphill battle because you know, I mean, you know, you know, you know, she's all about the fish too. So if I can, if I can bring you back with my golden corral. Oh my God, that's fucking disgusting. So what, whatever happened with the wing it man or whatever, did, you said you weren't sure what team it was. What, what was the outcome of this wing situation? I went home with no wings. And did you... Blame the the tranny or whoever it was behind the deli. I didn't go that far with it. I mean, you know, <laughs> it was right. Wait, can, I, can I use that language nowadays? I don't know. 
Can you? I, well, no, you can't say you can't say the T word. The T word. <laughs> you can't you can't talk about transmissions and vehicles. <laughs> no, I I joke because I don't give a fuck what you want to do with your life. Be, be happy, live your best life. But my buddy, no knows that we do the show every <laughs> week, and so he tells me on Friday. He goes, yeah, I got I got pulled into the office. I couldn't. Couldn't figure out why. And uh, <laughs> to change your transmission fluid? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Basically. So he gets, he gets pulled into his manager's office and the HR lady's there. Oh. Yeah. And he's like That doesn't that's he's like he's like, holy shit, I'm getting like I'm I'm done. Like I'm getting I did something to get fired, right? Because there's there's ways to begin stories. Right. I got pulled into the manager's office in the HR lady there, not a good sign. <laughs> yeah, not, well, not we, a good sign. At we all. we split a bottle of tequila. <laughs> that is a good way to start a story. So <laughs> dude, I and I don't I don't I didn't believe him. Like I had to fucking que- I had multiple questions during this story. So he gets pulled into the office and they explain to him that there's somebody at their establishment really? who prefers different pronouns. And he's, he's not a disrespectful guy, but he doesn't give a fuck. He's like, you, you just be you. I'll use your name. I'm not doing any of that silly shit. I'm not, I'm going to slip. Not on purpose. If I do like, you know, I'm, I apologize. Like, pronouns, he's that as in like the shit that like when, when I see people's emails now, they have sure, yeah, yes, or like exactly. when you're, they they asked me for that when I was on LinkedIn, I was right. I, I was I was like I don't I, <laughs> motherfucker, yeah, yeah. yeah I, my, I mean, my, my pronouns name, are I don't give a fuck. My pro, my pronoun is motherfucker because if you can pick whatever pronoun you want, then my pronoun is motherfucker. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you know what? I've been in enough environments where it's just been me. I, I'm used to one of my pronouns being a hey, black guy. But check this out, so. They, they break it down to him, and the HR lady has the audacity to say to him, to his face, in front of his manager, so there's witnesses, like, he's not making this shit up. Well, when you mispronounce somebody's preferred pronouns, it's akin to calling them the N-word. I don't know, bitch, you've been called the N-word much? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, no, 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 apparently she is the whitest lady on the planet. Yeah, I mean, get called the N-word. <laughs> yeah, it's, right. it's, it's a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? Because when I was little, I had a, 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 my jerry curl dried up. Okay. So I got braids for the summer. Mm-hmm. And hey, you know what? I had feminine features, I guess, because people didn't know if I was a boy or a girl because I had cornrows. Sure. Was one of the one times in my life that I've had cornrows, and no, not for this <laughs> weak-ass, thug-ass shit. If you like that weak-ass, thug-ass cornrow shit, bitch, turn my show off. Anyway. <laughs> what, if we'll, I, what if I got cornrows? We'll talk about dreads next week. If you got... If, <laughs> If we, you, you got Queen Rose, I would I would clown you every week for your misappropriation of culture. I mean, goddamn! If you go to steal it, use it correctly. I mean, you motherfuckers can barely say what's up. So don't start getting Queen Rose. Don't start. In the next thing you know, I be oh, especially when especially a white girl tell you, oh, I know how to cook chicken, bitch. That's not all we fucking do. No, you know what, uh, you bitch? Know what? Tell me you know how to pick cotton. Then I will tell you you're really down with the team, Toby. Tell me about that shit. No, you know what I should do? I should fucking get cornrows and then run for public office and then when I lose I can tell them they're racist it's gonna work it's gonna work they put in the the stuttering stroke fix Co- white people with cornrows are like blackface to me <laughs> <laughs> so if I got corn, if I got cornrows it's like me walking around perpetually saying the n-word is that what the fuck you're telling me right now they, hey, yeah so if you happen to be Caucasian with cornrows man you really you, you, really, you, you think crime is up now if I did that, crime would be up another 300 fucking percent, dude. Guaranteed. Yeah, I, I want to tell you that Portland is not the place that they, they film Portlandia anymore. <laughs> just, just, just so you know. Yeah, yeah, they shut that shit I, I mean, down immediately. I mean, real fucking shit. I, we are on... We've already topped homicides from last year, this year. Yeah, motherfuckers get shot out here, dude. It's, oh, you, oh, you thought we was just, you thought we was just over here eating that food carts? <laughs> they blow up food carts out here. <laughs> they blown up. Well, they, they, they blew up one and they set one on fire. Yeah. So yeah, the food carts ain't safe. Well, dude, it not it's it's not even just Portland anymore. It's up here in Vancouver. It's spilling over into Vancouver. I was at my buddy's birthday just last week, and one of his really good longtime friends, like friend of the family, like both their families are really really close. His dad was a defense attorney, and now he's a defense attorney up here. And this motherfucker 
Straight said, unless the, the prosecutor has video evidence, clear video evidence, they don't even attempt to prosecute anything. So I, there's I, been I, robberies. There's been shootings. There's been rapes where the county or state, whatever it is, whichever prosecutor's out in there right now just goes, was well, there a video? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a conviction. I think you. I think you need to ask Rodney King if videos fucking work. <laughs> I don't think a video is fucking enough. <laughs> well, dude, think about the George Floyd shit. Yeah, I mean, like they got that shit on video, and the medical exam. And listen, I'm not defending the fucking cop, Derek Chauvin, or whatever. The fucking medical examiners could not even agree on how this guy died. You're really? telling. You're telling me. That medical professionals, motherfuckers that study for years, dozens of years from other experts, and you're telling me they both couldn't go, yeah, seems legit. No, they both were like, uh, no, there was multiple factors that no, could have played in, no, blah, 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 and yeah. he's wrong, and then they're wrong, and then everybody's wrong. I will say straight out that, to me, George Floyd is not a role model for, for that type of violence. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I mean, because if if you high on shit and handing out fake bills, I really don't. In trying to use in trying to use counterfeit money, maybe you weren't going down the best life path. <laughs> but it does not take a bunch of experts to tell me that putting your knee on his fucking on his fucking head or whatever they right, put it yeah, on, whatever they, happened, that, that that killed him. We saw what killed him. <laughs> right? I mean, wait, do you even need a fucking trial? <laughs> Now the, <laughs> Bring the, back public stoning. You, you could it. really, you could debate the the punishment for what happened. Right, but he killed him. I, I'm not. I am not a denier. I mean, you could deny elections. You could deny the moon landing. <laughs> you could deny all. You could deny all sorts of shit. You could. You could fucking deny that Columbus found fucking America. I don't give a fucking fuck. But I, will, I know that, deny, that fucking cop killed him. I'll deny one thing. What? I will deny that I'm a doctor and remain abstinent. I know the man died. That's what I know. Because I, I know. And so that's as far as I'll go. You, with got that. One, you got one life to live. He ran out of quarters. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only reason I'm taking the neutral path on that. Because one, I wasn't there. I don't. I saw the video. Oh, it was a video. I was there. No, no. I if there's saw, a video, I was there. I saw the video. It wasn't like the metaverse where I could look around. <laughs> <laughs> All sorts of 360. I shit, saw the video. But, I have my opinion, but that guy died, and that sucks. Right. So whatever happens outside of that, all fine and good. But you're telling me that two fucking professionals in the same industry go, no, 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 this guy sucks. He's wrong. And the other guy's like, no, he's wrong. And they're just going, no, I'm right. You're wrong. This this guy's fucking terrible. Like he fucked his own mother. Like they're uh, talking shit I, about I each other. I don't know what medical school you went to. <laughs> yeah, right. Because really the last time I played doctor, there was a Fisher Price involved and there was a sandbox. <laughs> <laughs> and, my, and my penis was neatly folded and put away so there was there should be no problem deciding that guy died because if that guy wouldn't have been on top of him right pause and that guy wouldn't have been on top of him he wouldn't have died that's easy as fucking fuck right. but then you look at I, I look at it now because the rapper how did you how did justice happen back in the day before we had video i did i don't know you you were allowed to use the n-word on people back in the day I mean, that, the world was a twisted place back then. You, you were allowed to use the N-word. Yeah. Because you'd be like, N-word, get off this side of the block. <laughs> and you'd be like, I sure will. I sure will. <laughs> or, or, you know you know how gangbangers just show they flag a little bit out their back yeah, pocket? Yeah, yeah. I think my with Ku Klux Klan, they walk around, they pull out a little white handkerchief, <laughs> and, a little, and a black motherfucker get right to the other side of the street. No, they just, they <laughs> just have a little trucker cap on with a little fucking cone sticking out. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Really, uh, just uh, just just roll up their sleeve and show the flag, and they'd be like, "Oh, well, I guess I guess that's what yeah, it is." I think I like we're just wearing the fucking scarf and shit. Like, the well, red sack. you can't really do that with the flag because I'd be like, "Oh, you you like the General Lee too?" I mean, I watch Dukes of Hazard too. I, I feel for every brother that has a Confederate flag right now because it's kind of fucked up because we all like the General Lee growing up. The General Lee, Dude. the the car. How? The, how are we sitting in a time where we are watching them stifle historical fig figures and figments and we're just going, yeah, that's cool. 
Well, for me, tell the story any way the fuck you want to. As long as I can get up and go to work tomorrow, how I fight racism, bring it back, bring it back. How do we fight racism? I get up and go to fucking work. That's how I fucking do it. So, yeah. yeah but, but, at least you show up to work. Yeah. Because the problem I'm running into when it comes to work now, and you know, this might not be the show for you if you are from the wrong goddamn generation. <laughs> if you are the bottom of the millennials or you are fucking Gen Z, you, this might not be the show for you. And I'm not giving your money back on fucking Patreons. There's no refund. What you can do <laughs> is you can refund your money and fuck yourself. There you go. Hey, you, you got robbed by a black man. It's okay because he's impoverished. So it's okay for me to rob you. <laughs> and it, well, and it was on video, but they won't prosecute. It, 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 it is on video. And look, he has a gun. If you're on Patreon, I have a gun. I have a gun. Bang, bang. I can only have 10 bullets in it because I'm too close to Oregon. <laughs> but what I don't get, like, you know, I'm seeing motherfuckers call in sick when they just don't want to fucking work. Okay. You know, I used to call in sick because I was lazy. I called in sick because I was hungover. I called in sick because, you know, my friend that I met last night wanted to go a few extra rounds. I called in sick for that. Now, actually, no, I'm not missing work for pussy. What are you thinking? That's some loser ass shit. That's some loser ass shit. Miss work for some pussy. Ain't that a bitch? If you do that, stop listening to my show and go kill yourself. Hey, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that escalated quickly. Make sure, hey, you, make sure you donate hey, to uh, Patreon before you do that. Oh, you're supposed to say the suicide hotline number anytime you say something about killing yourself. Yeah, Five zero three seven seven six zero one six seven. Yeah, call, call call the suicide hotline and take care of yourself. Anyway, I just don't get it because a motherfucker will call out like, "Just quit the job." Like we're holding a spot for you. Yeah, I mean it does save on labor. You know what I don't get is we have, we have two guys at my organization that are in the military, and they're out until further notice because the U.S. government said, "Hey, uh, we're going to go post you up in some third world country somewhere on a deployment." That we probably don't need to be. That's a whole nother story. But we're literally holding positions for those two people. Do they have to pay, they have to pay their salary and shit? I don't think, no. I fucking hope not. Because if that's the case, I'm sleeping <laughs> in every motherfucking day. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. I, think I, I, I got a war going on at home. So yeah. <laughs> can I leave for a couple months? No, I think, I think all they have to do is like guarantee them a position when they come back. Or the option for a position when they come back. Which is still, I mean. Man, the, the position I, is your shit in a box outside the fucking door. That's yeah, right. <laughs> your position. No, because all I would do, I'd, I'd just go double dip. Be like, of course I'm going in the military. And get like two other jobs and be like, hey, I'm, I got to go in the military. I go in the, mil- I go in the military for all of them and then get the GI Bill and go to school. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. And then, then your boss sees you around town thought you were in Cambodia. I'm back on leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, does that always get you when you see those reunions? Like, is I'm sorry, I've never been in the military. I've never had a child that I've been away from and come back. And I've never been a child that I've had a military parent come back. Like, you always see these fucking elaborate, you know, the motherfucker dresses up as Chuck E. Cheese and takes his hat off and I'm back from the military. Right. Do you know if one of my parents went away for a couple years and came home and then all of a sudden I'm at Chuck E. Cheese and they pull a head off, I would just fucking lose my shit. Chuck E. Cheese is scary fucking enough. <laughs> oh, so you already know, so it's about that time to go. We got to get the fuck out of here. Don't forget to hit us up, 503-776-0167, or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast. We got shit to do. We got exclusive Patreon coming to you. Kaboom. I rhyme, bitch. It's time to go. I'm like a regular day oh so fresh I, I, I love to bang on them and you know what and what, you, what you can't do is you can't play sick when it comes to the show because even if you are on your fucking deathbed you can listen to this goddamn show you can and get you, one last laugh in you, you know what if you got pneumonia maybe don't watch the show because you laugh too hard <laughs> and you know I don't need you coughing up a fucking lot this is that good shit Call the hospital, make a reservation, listen to the show anyway. Don't don't pay attention to him. Listen to us you remember all the, day long. You remember when the 90s when you used to, there used to be bad weed? Because all the weed's good now. <laughs> Nobody remembers bad weed. You remember, oh, they we smoke used to, too much. We smoke hella bad weed. <laughs> no, they smoke too much. They can't remember shit. This is the goddamn chronic coming at you every fucking Tuesday. My name is Oso oh Fresh. This is a host with no name. We're thinking about sponsoring a fucking horse racing team so we can have a horse with no name. It's a hype podcast and we're fucking out. Oh! Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> when the horse with no name. <laughs> <laughs>